I'm going to teach you how to stabilize a hyperlapse in DaVinci Resolve Studio using the planar tracker. How's that for a before and after? This process is super simple if you shot your hyperlapses properly. I've been teaching people how to do this for a very long time now, and you can learn how to do that from my free ebook that you can find down below or my paid time-lapse courses. This is how I shot it on a monopod with my legs spread because when I started the sequence, I was much further away, and so I didn't have to point the camera up as much. Once I got closer to the building, of course I had to point the camera up more, which means my head had to be lower, so I spread my legs. That's how you do it. Drag your sequence into the media browser of DaVinci Resolve Studio, right-click it and create a new timeline using that sequence. I'm giving it the resolution of the photo sequence, which is 6,000 by 4,000 pixels, just so my timeline is the same size as my clip. Otherwise, it would just be a 4K timeline and then you're gonna add a zoom and everything, but yeah. Once it's in the timeline, this is what it looks like. It is unstabilized, so straight out of camera, it's not very good. Have a good look at what stays in frame throughout the shot, because as you can see, those houses kind of obscure the shot. Now, how do we stabilize this using the planar tracker? In previous videos, I've shown you how to use other methods, but this one's obviously about the planar tracker. So, go to the Fusion tab, which turns your editing into node-based editing. Right-click on that line in the middle, go to Tracking, and select Planar Tracker. That adds a tool in the middle there, and you still have a bit of a timeline, I guess, of the clips. You have your frames up there, but in the middle, in this node-based editing, is where we're going to adjust the stabilizer. Go to the settings, go to the first frame and click set. Your stabilization mode is set to track and you're gonna change this one to hybrid point area. Then you want to draw an area on your subject that you shot that you're trying to stabilize. Just use some points to go around it. As I mentioned, these houses move in and out of the frame and obscure some of the building. So make sure that you only select stuff that is visible for the entire shot. I might want to adjust the end bits there because as I move the camera, the perspective and the framing moves as well. So again, make sure you're set to track, click set and then analyze forward with this button here and let that run for a bit. And as you can see, that gives you the tracking points and also the confidence of those tracking points. Green's good, red's bad, but pretty much the software is so intelligent. It is crazy powerful. I can't believe the price of this software and the capabilities that it has. I fast forwarded here for you but you get the idea. Let this run all the way to the end. Once it is finished, go back to your options here and click go, then change to stabilize instead of track because we've just done the tracking, right? Deselect scale and then compute stabilization, which applies that stabilization to your footage and bada bing, bada boom. Before you know it, you've got yourself a stabilized sequence. Now, what's the issue here? Because it's changed the scale and everything to stabilize the footage, we have some black borders on the edge of our frame. And the most simple way to get rid of those is by just clicking on your clip, going to the scale and increasing the scale of your clip in your timeline so it fills up. You lose a little bit of resolution here. And that's why I always say you should always shoot a little bit wider than what you have planned because when you apply stabilization, you're going to be losing some of your framing. And that is how you do it in DaVinci Resolve Studio. I hope this was helpful. I have many, many more videos in my paid course called the Ultimate Timelapse Course which has helped hundreds and hundreds of people become professional time-lapse photographers with way more videos in way more detail than this one. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any requests, comments, questions, or suggestions, drop them in the comments down below. Appreciate you being here and may the clouds forever be in your favor.